Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Kermit, and welcome to another episode on the Cube Evolution. So, we updated the server um, a couple of days ago, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to record on it much. If it was up to me, I would have gotten already, like, episode 2, episode 3 out. But, there's been a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully, you guys have been entertained with the survival games and with the uh, UHC, because that was, unfortunately, all I was able to put out earlier on this week due to construction going on and a bunch of other things. But, something I was able to do is hop on the Cube Evolution server and get a bunch of uh, boring work done. So basically I've done a lot of work trying to get myself set up, doing a bunch of resource gathering. I've got a couple of machines set up, I've got a couple of little areas set up, I've got some farms, some cows. We are looking pretty good to start the series off with a bang, my friends. We are doing pretty good. There are so many cool things I want to show you guys. Oh man, there's so much fun. Um, let's actually go and sleep, shall we? Let's go sleep. No, 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 no. We don't need to sleep. We are strong. We do not fear the night. Let's go and talk about some things. So, let's go open up my little hot bar thingamajigger. Look at this. So, I've got this big old freaking book. It is literally called a big writing book. Um, I wanted to kind of have a place where I could kind of put down all of my ideas into one place. Actually, I started putting up signs, and then I realized, man, it'd be really cool to have, like, a book I could write things in. With that thought, I created myself a book and quill, you know, as you would usually do inside Vanilla Minecraft. And then once I did a little bit more research... I realized that, wait a minute, if I just add a little bit of paper around the book and quill, I can make myself this big writing book. Man, that seems fancy. Let's test this out. That is, let's just test this out. Look at this, man. Look at it. Oh, man. We got Kermit's big book, episode two. We got things to do. We got things to get done today. And uh, before we jump into this, I want to talk about this book. Look at this. Look at all these colors. Look at this text scale. Look at these bold, italicized, underlining little options. This book is going to be one of my very good friends throughout this series, I think. I think I am going to be using this to kind of put down all my thoughts, maybe organize my episodes a little bit. Hopefully you guys will be able to, like, have an easier time following me throughout the episode if we have it all in one place that we can reference. I think this book is going to come in handy. And I hope you guys really enjoy how this whole layout thing is going to work out. Hopefully I can uh, stick with this and continue to update it with episode 3, episode 4. We could just go back keep down all of our thoughts and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to this. So, things we need to get done today. One, make a smeltery. Two, make a jetpack. I had three uh, Star Wars Magicka, but I think we're going to do Ars Magicka later on. I, after researching Tinker's Construct, I realized that uh, making a smeltery and tinkering around with some of that stuff might tick up most of our episode, but uh, we can talk about that later. Make a jetpack should be pretty easy to do. Since we've removed Greg Tech, um... Greg Tech is basically a mod that makes a lot of things super complicated and so we decided to give that the boot and making some of these machines is a lot easier now so we should be able to make a jetpack fairly easily. And then we also got to think of a building style um, but that's more background noise maybe you guys could help me out with that in the comment section below because I have no idea what I should do with uh, when it comes to building styles. But uh, anyway, alrighty, so we've got ourselves some grout going in this, uh, in this crafting station. So, first of all, the crafting stations inside Tinker's Construct are bea beautiful. When I open it up, you can see that, well, there's a bunch of things you can see. One, there are items that are already inside the crafting table, so I can just leave these items in here. Literally, there are just items sitting inside this crafting table. If I take them out, they're no longer in there. I can put them back in. I can go leave. I can go mining. And they are still just sitting in there waiting for me to craft up some grout. Which is exactly what we are going to be doing. So let's just craft ourselves up. Maybe 20 sounds good. Let's pop this into a little half slab furnace up here. Look, it's still so pretty. And then uh, you can also notice that with this crafting station, there's also this chest over here. And this chest is this chest right here. Um, they are actually being connected through the crafting station. I don't know how it works. It's magic, my friends, but it is absolutely amazing. Um, these things are actually things that I want to kind of tinker around with during the episode. For example, we are going to take this transformation powder, run on over to our cows, and transform them. Um, as you see, I've already got myself this nice little Twilight Forest portal that I've been jumping in and out of every now and then because I think the Twilight Forest is an absolutely amazing biome, or not biome, a dimension. And uh, I've gone in there and I've actually cleared out a couple different hollow hills and I got some uh, got some good resource out of that. So we are going to, you know, transform these normal boring cows into amazing reindeer. Hello friends. Hello reindeer. How's it going? You got, you know, Dashiell and 
I don't even know all the freaking Santa Claus names. I'm not even going to try. Dashiell and Rudolph. That's about it. That's all I know. Um, let's do... Let's get them some wheat. Maybe so we can breed them. I'm actually curious to see if they, like, really act exactly like cows. Let's get ourselves some wheat. Let's go and breed them. Hopefully they'll drop off some nice... Maybe venison, I'm going to assume, they give us. So let's just breed one of them. Maybe two of them. And murder you! Ha! Alrighty, let's see what we got. Nothing? Nothing? Oh, look at this. We got ourselves some raw venison. I was correct. And that is pretty cool. Let's go cook this up and see what kind of saturation and stuff it gives us. Well, uh, I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Okay. Anyway, now that that is done, we can also look inside here. Maybe put the transformation powder back. We've also got ourselves some iron. Hey! 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 Whoa! Hey, man! What the heck are you doing? Oh! Don't do that! That is bad. I'm gonna kill you. You fool! No! Don't pick up my stairs! That's my stair! Dang it! What the heck, man? My stair! Give me that. Oh! No! Give me my stair back! No! My stair! <sighs> well, anyway, that was freaking weird. Um, anyway, we've got stuff in this chest, and these things are all the things that I'm going to need in order to get a jetpack going, I think. We are going to come back to here. Oh yeah, I've also got these spawn villager eggs and spawn horse eggs from like my second lucky block I found. Dropped me a whole bunch of these spawn eggs, which is pretty cool. The spawn giant seems pretty nice. I'm I'm sorry, I'm like burping right now. I don't know why, man. I don't know why. I didn't even have any soda. <gasps> it's pretty weird. It is pretty weird stuff. But what is even more weird is what is right in front of me. This, my friends, this is a... Half of a Tinker's Constructs Meltery. It's not actually done yet. I am in the process of building it. I still got a couple more bricks to go. Um, but in fact, we got some grout in the freaking furnaces. Getting that shit ready. We got some stuff to talk about while I just melt them though. So, this is a smeltery. Basically, the entire Tinker's Construct mod focuses around creating these really, really cool tools that you can just add really cool effects onto. And just, ah, really awesome stuff, man. But in order to get started, you have to make this smeltery... And with the smeltery, we are going to be basically melting down ingots and ores and stuff like that. And then once it's all melted down, we can pour it out into this casting table. And once we've got some little casts made out, we got oh, it's a it's a very complicated process. Hopefully, I can explain it as we go along as we uh, try to make ourselves some tools to start off with. But I've already put in a little bit of time getting ourselves some of these smeltery drains, the faucets, the casting bins, the casting table, more drains, the controller, the tank, all that fun stuff has been acquired for us. It's so nice, it's so nice. And then over here we got ourselves all these little stations. This is a stencil station where we create the different stencils, crafting station. Oh yeah, I've got some goodies in here. That was actually in there for now, but I was reading that, learning up some stuff, lots of lava buckets, and then part builder, uh, tool station, and then the tool forge over here will be quite useful later on once we got ourselves some ingots once we got ourselves some uh some casts and stuff it's a lot of fun man i've been watching uh direwolf's videos on it for a while now and i think i've got it down i think i've got a good understanding of it and if i am doing a bad job of explaining what is going on i would suggest that you definitely go over to his channel and check out the uh tinker's construct 1.4 video that he uh he put out a while ago uh, but yeah, let's get ourselves some seared bricks. Let's get ourselves the rest of this smeltery built. We got 20 in here, and I think we got 7 in here. Let's also get ourselves some glass. Let's make ourselves up some nice seared windows. Like this, I think. I think is all we need. Like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. Um, I don't... Oh, uh, maybe... Hmm, I think the glass things are too expensive. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. I want to be sure that we can actually build this all. And uh, we can add to it later on. Make it look better with the glass and stuff. But we can put some glass right here. And the rest of this back here. And boom shakalaka. We got ourselves a smeltery. You can see that this thing lit up. Showing us that it is indeed ready for ingots and other good stuff to be placed in there. We are going to start off by grabbing up some gold. Because we need to make some blank casts. And in order to make some blank casts... There are, or actually there are a couple ways to do it. You can either make aluminum brass, which is with uh, aluminum and tin, I do believe. But we're just going to stick with gold because I found a decent amount of it inside one of the hollow hills. And the, uh, and the, uh, what is it called? The Twilight Forest bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to shove a whole bunch of gold in here. Maybe, maybe nine. Maybe nine should be good. Maybe we'll do a little bit more than that. All right. So as you see, 
The gold is starting to heat up. Oh, actually, let's look in here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, we got some gold blocks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm stuck. No. No, help. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Oh, man, that would have been bad. Whew. Once this thing gets hot enough, man, you will indeed start to cook yourself. Oh, it looks like uh, some of the gold popped out once I broke that block. But, uh, yeah, okay, we're going to let this gold smelt up. Hopefully, if we just kind of watch it for a little bit, it should just kind of eventually turn into a nice big old puddle of gold big old puddle of gold yeah and then uh, once that is done we can start making ourselves some nice stuff um okay so next thing is once the gold smelts down it will kind of uh be oh what, how do i explain this how do i explain this one second oh man oh man look at it okay look it's going into a puddle of gold a puddle of gold so once that gold has smelted down we um have to pour it out into a cast now we want to actually make ourselves some uh some little stone tidbits for the cast to be kind of molded around i don't know man this is this is complicated stuff i'm sure my grandpa would be able to explain this perfectly like my grandpa actually works with like lead casts and stuff like i don't even know what he does even anyway um let's go over here let's look at my stencil table and let's actually no 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 no. i think we want maybe the part builder yeah yeah let's get let's grab this thing Give me that. This is the wrong place. Let's put this in between here and grab the part thing in my trigger. Put that there. Fill it up with all these patterns. And then once again, these little table thingies will connect to this chest and I will have all of the patterns I could ever want over here on the side. Let's put this uh, crafting table back and put all the goodies back in it. These are all just the Tinker Construct goodies I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? A diary of a Tinker. Hmm, interesting. I might have to play around with that later. Yeah, let's just put all this stuff in here for safekeeping for now. Uh, maybe even a seared brick. Yeah, that can go in there. Uh, then let's make ourselves a couple of parts so that we can uh, correctly mold these these casts. So let's do... Um, let's actually grab some stone real quick. I'm pretty sure I need some stone to get started. So let's just go on over here to my little chest of goodies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've also been eating so many freaking apples. So I've got some apple trees up there. And that has kind of been my, my main source of food since I've, uh, have yet to kind of slaughter some more deers and more cows. But anyway, let's go back over here. Let's place some stone in here. Right there. And then we can make ourselves some little tool pieces. So we are going to start off with a sword, I think. I think a sword sounds quite nice. We don't really have a sword right now. I actually, my iron sword just broke not too long ago. So let's make ourselves... A nice sword blade. Let's make ourselves... Actually, I don't really know how to make this. Let's go over here to this tool station and see what it is... What is required to make ourselves a long sword. Okay, so for a long sword, I need... Looks like a sword blade, maybe a, a small hilt, and a tool rod. So I, do I even have small hilt? I do not! We have to go over to the central table and make ourselves... It looks like this little guy. A hand guard. That is correct. Okay, let's grab that. Let's put the hand guard in here with the stone. Let's make ourselves a little hand guard piece. We also got this stone shard, which is quite interesting. And then let's do a tool rod. And we could actually use this stone shard, which is technically like half of a stone. As you can see, it says uh, material cost 0.5. So you don't even need a full cobblestone block. But uh, let's get this tool stone rod. Let's grab these things and let's go back over to our casting table. So we are going to start off by putting the stone sword blade inside the casting table and now now that the stone blade is in there we can actually right click this and it'll pour the gold out onto the stone sword it'll cool down harden and boom we got ourselves a stone sword or not a stone sword a sword blade a cast so now with this i could actually probably place this back in here pour more gold in it and then i would end up with a gold sword blade but we don't really want a gold sword blade we want to continue making some more blank cast so let's get this tool rod going more blank casts! More blank- no, wait, not blank cast. More casts! More cast, my friends! More cast! Okay, so let's get that going. We got ourselves a nice tool rod cast. Let's get one more going for the handguard. And uh, then we should be good to uh, move on and create ourselves up a freaking- Give me that. Give me that. A freaking sword. Okay, so now we've got these casts. Now that we've got these casts, what is next, my friends? What is next? 
Alrighty, so what I need to do now is I actually need to clear out all of the gold inside the inside the smeltery. So I'm gonna make a, myself a whole bunch more casts. I'm gonna do this off screen and I will be right back with you guys and we can start making ourselves some storage, some tools. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful, my friends. It's gonna be great. Alrighty, so now that all the gold is now stuck out of the smeltery, I've used all of it to make all these little these little casts. We are now going to uh, put some iron into the smeltery and that way we can uh, start making some tools. Um, out of iron and stuff. So the only way to actually make tools out of iron is to indeed make the smeltery and do this whole long process. Originally, I think when, one of the first uh, Tinker's Construct mods that were available, you could literally just like forge iron inside this tool station. And so uh, now that the smeltery is about or around, um, things are a little bit more complicated and takes a little bit more time. But it is indeed worth it in the end. So we're going to wait for this, uh, this nice little iron to smelt up and then we are going to craft ourselves up some nice iron tool rods, some nice iron sword blades, and a nice iron handguard. We also got a shovel head, tool binding cast, and a pickaxe. And this tool binding cast is going to be used to, like, keep things together on a lot of the tools. But, uh, that will come in handy later. It will indeed. Okay, we are going to just kind of wait around for this. I'm pretty sure we can actually look at this and watch it get, uh, nice and hot. Hot, hot, hot. Melt up the iron. Should be good stuff. Um, I don't know how long, like, four buckets of, of lava last, but it seems to be doing a good job of, uh, keeping itself steady and going good. So, we just gotta wait a little bit. We can actually start putting these things in here. We can just put that in there, and then once we pour out the iron, it should take up about, um, it says, it says on each cast how much iron is actually gonna be used. So, for a sword blade, it'll take one ingot, that's the material cost. But for a handguard, it'll only take half an ingot, so that is pretty cool. Um, we are just kind of still waiting, man. Come on, Iron. Hurry up. Hurry up and melt. Let's go. I got tools to make. Come on, man. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on, any second now. Any second now. Oh, man. Oh, come on, let's go. Go, friend. Go. Go, friend. Go. Go, 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 go. Iron bottle. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I, nice little color to it. Okay, so let's just pour out the iron into this tool rod. And as you see, it fills up a nice little texture, and boom! We got ourselves an iron tool rod. That is pretty freaking cool. Let's actually place down a sword, and let's get that going. Uh-huh, let's grab that. Let's place down a handle. Let's get that going. Oh, man, we're almost there. And boom, give me that. Okay. Oh, my goodness, my friends. Let's go make ourselves our first Tinker's Construct tool. Let's go into this tool station. Let's select this long sword, and then we just, you know, drag the correct tools into the correct slots, and boom, shaka laka. So as you see, um, each little tiny piece of this tool adds its own little modifiers. So um, this iron handguard doesn't really add much, I think. But if I were to get something like maybe obsidian, I'm pretty sure actually let's open up this thing i'm pretty sure materials and you will show us all the different materials and all the different effects i do believe i'm on something so actually these are all the different tools and if you want to read more about what each tool does um instead of waiting around then definitely read through these books it basically all the information you need is in here including how to make the smeltery by this book let's grab this and read it up uh, uh, uh. so in here it shows you how to make the smeltery all the things you need all the good stuff um, basically all the stuff you need you can find in game, but I still recommend looking up some other videos if you get lost Because uh, it is quite helpful to have somebody else walk you through it but Anyway, let's put these back and let's actually read through this. So let's look at the different materials Let's go past all these amazing tools and boom. Okay, so iron iron has um, a durability of 250 a handle modifier of 1.3 X which means uh, if the iron tool rod is made out of iron or if the tool rod is made out of iron it will multiply the durability by 1.3. Um, likewise, if you go with other tools, um, you see, uh, let's see, oh, handle modifier 0 0.7. So if the handle is made out of flint, it'll actually bring the durability down, which is not cool, even though the mining speed seems to be, oh, it is less than iron. So iron mining speed is 6, so we got to keep that in mind. We want to do Maybe something better than six. Maybe, I don't know. Obsidian, my handle modifier is 0.8. Bone you could use. Um, some of these things you actually don't need to use the smeltery for. So let's say I wanted to make a bone tool handle. Let's go over here, grab ourselves up some bone, and let's go back over here. So um, some of the softer materials in the world don't need to be melted down 
um, in there. They just need to be kind of like crafted into the part builder. So let's say, look, I have an axe pattern. Let's go and put this bone here. And boom, I got a bone axe head with the durability of 200. Use speed of 4, attack of 0 0.5. That's kind of shitty though. We don't really want that. We don't really want bone tools. Bone tools don't seem to be good enough for me. Let's see what else we got though. Let's look at these. Um, some of them, like cactus, have a material trait like jagged. So I don't really know exactly what all the material traits do. But uh, I am very curious to research those more and more and more. Alright, I think we might just go for a straight up um, iron tool. It seems like the best bet to go. And then we can add some modifiers onto it and make it gooder. Yeah? Oh man, we could do these uh, slime crystals. Luckily, I have this slime biome thingy right over there. So we might be able to collect a decent amount of, uh, of slime tools and stuff like that and use it as modifiers. It seems to be doing pretty good. Let's actually read that up a little bit more. Let's go back over to the slime. Where's the slime at? There it is. Oh man. Look at this. The Tandle modifier is 2.0. Woo! That is pretty decent, even though the mining speed is pretty shitty. So it, it seems like I would not want to make a pickaxe head out of it, but making a slime tool rod would be pretty cool. It's got a durability of 1,200. That is that's pretty freaking awesome. That is decent. Holy moly. And then uh, you also got some of these other freaking things. These are more end-game type stuff. I haven't even seen a single amount of cobalt or ardite in the ground yet. Manulin. Oh my goodness, that is complicated stuff right there. Complicated stuff. Let's do... I have copper though. Bronze and steel. Steel seems pretty cool. Um, anyway, I'm freaking babbling on. We can do this research off screen. And uh, if you guys want to research it once again, do that shit off screen, man. Okay. Um, let's go into the tool station. Let's craft ourselves up a long sword. And let's maybe add ourselves some, uh, some modifiers. So... This little slot right here, we can put the tool right back in here. We can actually name it. So let's do um, Kermit's first sword. Yeah. Kermit. Let me actually spell my name correctly. Yeah. Kermit's first sword. Maybe we should do. Uh, good enough. Freaking A. Okay. So we got ourselves Kermit's first sword. As you see, didn't cost us any freaking levels to name that. That is pretty cool. Um, let's find ourselves some modifiers. Do I have modifiers in here? Modifiers. Oh man, let's go to modifiers. Let's do this. So modifiers are basically little materials that you can add on top of the base weapon or base tool that you've got. So let's go to modifiers. Oh man, oh man, look at this. So diamond, um, diamond is used on, looks like tools. Let's try to find some swords, huh? Swords? Anybody got a sword? Oh, look at that. It's a sword. So do we have any quartz? I don't think we do. Blaze powder, don't think we do. Oh man, what do we have? What do we have? Come on, we got something. We got maybe no. Oh man, I'm broke. Oh no, I don't have any tools. I don't have any modifiers. Um, let's actually try to just, I don't know, grab some materials and see if I can just smash them onto the sword. Let's do materials. Uh, maybe lapis, maybe flint, maybe slime. Uh, let's see if we can add these things onto here. I don't know, man. I'm taking a gamble here. Let's see. Let's see. So let's just grab ourselves up this sword. Maybe lapis. Boom. Oh. What is that? That's kind of cool. Okay, it gives me luck. Interesting. But what about what about flint? Does flint do anything? No, flint does nothing. What about slime? Slime? No slime. No slime for me. What about maybe paper? Nope. 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 String? Nope. 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 Let's go with a. Let's go with lapis. Lapis seemed like it was onto something. Maybe, oh, actually, I think I might have some glowstone. Oh, wait, 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 my friends, my friends. I think I might have some redstone. Redstone and glowstone. Do I have any glowstone? I think I do. There it is, haha. -ha. Sugar, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Gunpowder, maybe? Mmm. Uh, gelatinous slime? One second, one second. Let me look at me. Let me look at this. How do I do the slime thing? Whoa, did, whoa, whoa, wait. Dirt and that and oh, wait a second, my friends. Wait a second. Let me get some dirt. Let me get some sand. Let me get some sand. Let me freaking craft ourselves up some of this. Maybe, maybe this will work. Maybe it won't. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. Let's freaking smelt this crap. Go. Oh no. Not stone. You mean that? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're gonna wait for that to happen, and then I'm pretty sure. Let's go read about this more. What does that do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Loose time. 
Go back to Bruce Lane. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See, uh, I don't know how. Mm, I'm pretty sure the tools and the swords are different, man. I don't know what to do with the swords. I'm pretty sure this might just uh, affect the different tools. We might have to make ourselves a pickaxe, my friends. We might have to make ourselves a pickaxe. Okay, let's see. Boom. Oh. Oh, no slime crystal for Kermit. Yeah, let's go with the lapis. I'm pretty sure we can stack this on top of each other. So we can just make it more and more lucky. Keep on adding lapis. Up to 450 lapis can be stacked on the Kermit's first sword. Woo! Holy moly. Shift just for stats. That is pretty cool. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, let's grab this thing. Let's go kill some things, huh? We got a freaking... Oh, man, look at this sword. That is so cool. Oh, what was that? Oh, man, look at that little right-click. So when I right-click, it freaking launches me forward. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I'm pretty sure all the different swords and all the different tools have, like, different special effects and stuff like that. Once again, this is a very, very cool one. Let's actually get ourselves up a freaking pickaxe, right? We got some freaking time on our hands. Let's get these back in there. Um, I'm pretty sure we will need the tool rod and the binding cast. And I'm pretty sure once we get these things going, it should be good to go. So let's grab that, pour it in there. Oh man, oh man. Let's actually uh, clear out some of my inventory first. Um, let's get rid of some of these axe head patterns. I don't need that. No, no, no. Maybe we can put, no, not the bone axe. We can just boop, throw that away. I don't need it. It's boop. It's boop. Um, let's grab ourselves this chest in here. Throw away some of this crap, some of this poop. And here, and here, and here, and bones, and slime, slime bar, glowstone. Yeah, good enough for me. There you go. Boom. Nice and organized. All right, let's actually get ourselves some freaking meat. I'm not even running. I'm about to stop to death. Oh, no. Okay, let's go back over here. Let's get ourselves our pickaxe head, and let's make ourselves a binding cast, or a binding. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Give me that. And then a tool rod is next. Boom. I'm going to put these in there. Boom. Let's actually see how much uh, how much stuff we have. So we've got six ingots left of iron in there. I'm pretty sure actually we should be able to uh, kind of like stack stack um, different ingots and stuff on there. Like we could continue to smelt gold, smelt other other uh, ores and stuff, and it shouldn't mess with the amount of iron that is actually in there. So that we might take around with that later. Okay, so let's go on over to our stool tool station. Let's make ourselves up a nice pickaxe like so. And boom. Yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves a nice iron pickaxe. Once again, we can uh, edit it a little bit with this uh, ooh, slime crystal. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We should actually... Oh, I should have made a freaking slime crystal handle or some, some crap like that. That would have been cool. Okay, let's see what this adds now. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Okay, we're going to do this. We are going to grab ourselves a... Tool rod? Mm hmm Let's see if we can make ourselves this freaking handle. Like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Handle modifier 2.0. Oh, man. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to grab that. Maybe craft another one. Why not? Why not? Um, now, with this... Okay, we're probably going to make ourselves up another pickaxe. Because why, why not, man? Let's get ourselves an iron pickaxe head. Let's get ourselves a... I wonder what kind of binding we should use, huh? Maybe... Yeah, let's, let's just go with iron binding for now. We'll, we'll, once again, we'll have to tinker around with the different... Um, different... Freaking... Oh, what are they called? Oh, man. Different freaking options. Like, there's so many different ways to make a pickaxe. We're gonna... It's gonna take us some time to master it, you know? Okay, so now that we got this, we can now make ourselves this amazing iron pickaxe like so. Oh... Yeah, so as you see, it's got a nice little slime handle. Hopefully that will increase our durability. I don't even know. Durability 500. Durability 324. Look at that difference, my friends. Just from a handle. The only reason why this thing has 500 durability is because I have a slime crystal handle going on. That is pretty sweet. Okay, so now we got that going on. And now we should. Let's actually grab up some more lapis and let's use this redstone. Um, it's going to be a very, very basic pickaxe, but still going to be amazingly useful. So let's grab 62 freaking lapis. Holy moly, that should be enough to get us going. All right, a tool station. Let's plop this back in there. Let's freaking go lapis and redstone. Nope, maybe one at a time. 
Maybe let's do the redstone first. I want to see how that looks. Oh, man. Oh, man, it looks amazing. And look at the mining speed. The mining speed is at 6 right now. Once we add one redstone, 6.7, 6.15, 6.20. Oh, man, let's keep on going. Let's keep on going, friends. Oh, man, we're going to make this thing freaking fast as poop. Let's keep it going. Oh, my Lord. Holy freaking crap. We almost put 50 pieces of redstone on this, and we have boosted our mining speed all the way up to a solid 10. That's four extra points of mining speed. Holy freaking moly. Um, so we can also add lapis or uh, we could also add some diamond onto it if we wanted more durability. So I don't really know. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm freaking enchanting the wrong pickaxe. What the heck is going on? Dang it. Dang it. Oh, well, at least we have a really good, you know, iron pickaxe. We're going to do that again with this pickaxe. Let's do it. Let's go. Any second now, we'll be done with the redstone, and we can start adding on... Whoa! 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 Look! Whoa! Oh, man. I didn't even freaking see that. We can actually add up to 100 redstone. What the heck? What the heck? That's amazing. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. Let's do it. Yeah! Oh, man. I'm gonna be all out of redstone after this. What the heck? Actually, maybe, yeah, we're, we're gonna stop with redstone. I actually need redstone for other stuff, but we can actually start to add on either lapis. Um, we could also add on diamonds. Let's go find myself some diamonds. Let's see if I have a couple of diamonds to add on here. Boom, I do indeed. So the diamonds will increase the durability. The lapis will increase, uh, will give it like an effect like fortune, I'm pretty sure. And so we might go with the lapis. We might go with the diamonds. I don't know, my friends. Let's see what this does. Um, this brings it up to a thousand durability. What the world? What in the world? A thousand durability just by that? Oh man, are we? I'm pretty sure we're only able to do one diamond though. One diamond will just will we'll do it perfectly to a thousand durability. But we should be able to add on 450 lapis. Oh, what should we do, my friends? What should we do? Should we do the luck, or should we do the durability? I think we're going to do the luck. I think we're going to do this for a little bit. Yep. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. So basically what this does is it gives it a, a luck enchantment. And the more, obviously, the more lapis you use, the luckier it gets. And stuff like that. It would be similar to, you know, 10 lapis would be similar to having, you know, fortune 1. 20 lapis would be similar to having fortune 2. So on and so forth. Something along those lines. Hopefully you guys are following along. Um, I'm pretty sure this is fairly simple and easy to follow. Hopefully you guys get it. Let's just go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh man, I messed up. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do the whole stack. Why not? What the heck? Oh man, look at it! Oh, it looks so good! Look at this, man. Look at how amazing this little pickaxe looks. I got this other way! Oh man, oh, I got a pickaxe for days, my friends. Let's go see how fast this mine's compared to. Okay. We got a diamond pick here. I don't know exactly what the mining speed for a diamond pick is, but let's just uh, maybe find some more stone. I want to I want to get a good example of this. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, stone here. Okay, we're gonna gonna keep on going. Nice straight line, breaking some blocks. All right, you know diamond diamond pickaxe isn't bad. It's nothing to complain about. But let's oh go over here and test out this bad boy. Oh, oh man. I think that's faster. I definitely think that's faster. That is either faster or the exact same, which is pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure it's faster. And we can even make it faster. We can make it, we can continue to add on freaking whatever we wanted onto these pickaxes and just modify the crap out of these tools. And that is why this mod is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm very, very happy to have the smeltery up during my second episode of this wonderful, wonderful restart. Once again, I don't really know. I'm pretty sure we're just going to continue adding on to the episodes before, so I'm pretty sure we're on like episode 30-something. Um, we're not going to be restarting, even though technically we have restarted, but uh, yeah. I, I think it would just be awkward for some people who only have 15 episodes to already be on season 2, and I just think there's no real need for that. Yeah? Yeah? Alright, cool. Okay, so now that we are done with all this, now that you guys hopefully understand what's going on with the Tinker's Contract mod a little bit, um, hopefully you guys understand the process. We are going to make ourselves a jetpack. I think. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. I have got myself up a couple of resources that I need to get started. So let's, uh, 
I'm actually going to clear up my inventory and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we just got done explaining all about the Tinker's Contract mod, making ourselves a couple basic tools. Next thing on our list of things to do is to make ourselves a jetpack. A jetpack is going to come in... Uh, a, a jetpack would be amazing right now because we we cannot fly we cannot morph into a bat the morph has been disabled uh for good reasons we just think that being able to fly around as a bat is a little cheap we would like our flight to be somewhat manageable you know like you actually have to work towards it and manage it and go about it in a more reasonable way so we are going to be making ourselves a jetpack and the things we need to do that are a generator and a bat box to begin with and that is what i've got these resources for us. So we are going to actually make ourselves a furnace and then we can get ourselves started with a generator. So all these little things, oh man, there's so much little tinkering that goes on with this. Like the way you have to make this is you have to get tin and then you have to like hammer the tin and then you have to cut the tin with wire cutters and make little tubes and add rubber for the insulation and it is just a big old process of a whole bunch of crafting and stuff like that. So I did all this off screen for you guys because it was just a load of boring poop. That's all it was. But let's create ourselves up a furnace and let's make this into an iron furnace by adding these nice iron plates to it like that. And then with this, I'm pretty sure we just add ourselves some iron plates and a battery on top. Not too hard. Luckily, I have the perfect amount of iron plates laid out. Nice little battery. And boom, we got ourselves our first generator. Let's put this thing, hmm, maybe over here. Yeah, let's clear this out a little bit. And let's just put this guy right here. Boom, okay, that looks good. I'm pretty sure all it does is, you know, smelt some coal, turns it into battery power. Yeah, maybe, let's, let's find out. Let's find out, let's grab ourselves some coal and let's put it in the battery. Boom, and yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so now that is done, we need to make ourselves a bat box. And a bat box is what is going to be used to charge up our, um, it's gonna use to charge up our jetpack. So, um, oh, I'm still inside for Contingus Contract. No, thank you. Let's do bat box. Alrighty, this guy right here. Okay, so all we need to do is have the three batteries, the insulated tin coil, and the five wood around it. Oh man, would you, well, look at that, I've got the, Perfect amount of stuff going on. Actually, wait, wait, wait. How do I do that again? Let's do something like that. Nope. Like that? Oh, yeah. All right, just like that. When I move, you move. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, oh. Oh, man. Okay, so this is going to be stashing all of our energy. I'm pretty sure it just goes side by side. Just like that. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, next thing we need to do is actually craft the jetpack itself. And I did not do this at all, so I'm pretty sure we might have to do this from scratch. Let's see, what is required? Electric jetpack or a fuel, fuel powered, ooh, excuse me. Electric jetpack or fuel powered jetpack? I'm pretty sure we are going after the electric jetpack. So let's see how we make this. What the heck is that? Oh man, oh man, what the heck is this? Oh, what the crap? Oh no, oh no, I'm confused. Oh no. Oh my lord, this is going to be complicated stuff. Copper cable, copper plate, okay, okay, I want to do this off screen, I'm going to get myself some copper cables, some copper plates, and all this fun stuff, and I will see you guys back in just a second. Oh man. Woo, alrighty, I'm pretty sure we have everything we need, or just about everything we need, we got our advanced circuit, our tin item casings, and our glowstone. And here we go. No? What? What? Oh, oh, what? What What the heck did I do wrong? Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta get iron item casings. That's right. Okay, let's grab this. Let's take all this stuff out. And let's smash ourselves some iron casings. So I'm pretty sure we just need to do that and that. Okay, woo! All right, we should be good. We should be good to go. Let's do that. The glowstone on the bottom. Advanced circuit on top. Bat box in the middle. Oh man, we got ourselves an electric jetpack. Now we just take this electric jetpack and we shove it inside this nice bat box. Maybe in here. Maybe in here. Oh. 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 Ah! Oh! Yes! We got ourselves a jetpack. Oh, where'd it go? Give me that. Oh. 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 Look at it go. 
Look at it go, yeah, 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 oh, oh, oh. So another thing we have in this mod pack is the modular power suit mod. Let's actually um, look at it through here. Let's remove that. And let's go and select the modular power suit. Wait, wait, what? What? No. No. What? It's not there. Where'd it go? Oh, man. Oh, here it is. Woo! Okay. Let's click this and let's check this out. So the modular power suit is this, uh, this power armor that you can basically just modify the crap out of. You can make it fly, you can make it hover, you can make it run super fast, you can make it breathe underwater, you can add night vision to it, you can make it so that you can just punch things with your fist, and oh, there are a lot of really cool things inside this power modular, or modular power suit mod, and uh, we are going to be tinkering around with this very, very soon. I don't know what all these things are for, but I am very excited to find out. I'm pretty sure we need to make this thing, though. Which, uh, hey, it's not too hard. I gotta find an emerald, but that shouldn't be difficult. Wow, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all you need to do to get started. And then I'm pretty sure uh, the jetpack will be able to, like, be implemented into it. So, hopefully this jetpack works out well. Oh, man, it's done. It's freaking done. Do I just right-click it? Maybe I gotta put it on. Maybe I gotta put it on like that. Oh. 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 Look at it. I'm flying. I'm flying. Woo! Yeah, I'm flying! Yes! And I don't know, like, how much battery power is... Oh, man. Oh, don't. Don't fall. Okay, because I will, I will take fall damage. If I fall and die, I will fall and die. That is a correct statement. So, but thankfully, I can freaking fly. We can get up and out of this freaking biome so easily now. One of my main concerns was that I was going to have to freaking be using these stairs all the goddamn time. And that would be a pain in the booty. But no, I can just jump off and... Hopefully I just softened my landing a little bit. And we should be good to go. Alright. Hell yeah! Oh man, I'm just gonna fly back up. Let's do this. Let's uh, maybe eat some apples and fly at the same time. Oh snap. Look at us go. We are freaking multitasking. Oh man, yes. Oh, that is, that is a good feeling, my friends. That is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Alrighty. Well, holy freaking crap, we have like 40 minutes of footage that I, I really, really want to use. So we're probably going to be uploading a nice and long episode for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm pretty sure down in the description, I'll put down like little timestamps as to when I start, you know, Tinker's Construct and when I start, you know, making the jetpack and stuff like that. So that it'll be easier for you to navigate the episode because I know 40 minutes is a while for you to just sit there and, you know, stare at a frog. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. My name is Kermit. We got a, some, a, we got a lot of awesome stuff done in this episode. Next episode is going to be even more amazing. Oh man, there's just so many super cool things that we are going to be doing in this series. I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys leave a like, favorite, and I hope you guys comment down in my comment section below what you guys think of the episode. I mean, ha have any thoughts, how many suggestions, how many ideas, how many things you guys want me to do later on in the series. Let me know and I can maybe put them down in my big old fancy book. Oh yeah. Oh Oh man, big old book. It's a big old book, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm Kermit. Uh, episode, you know, 30-something. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am signing off, and I will see you guys in the next one. Woo!